Hey everybody, and welcome back to Storytime with JRP. We're continuing our book, Lawrence Gray, Secret of the Lost Note Colony, and we're currently in Chapter 45. So if you're just joining us, head back to Chapter 1 so you don't miss any crucial details. So a brief recap of Chapter 44, Lawrence Gray, General Sheldon, Assassin 46, and Jose Gonzalez, the taxi driver, are all in an underground cave underneath the Huntington Library. They're looking for the Renault Colony. And they were just about to fall off a waterfall, but it turned out to be a ruse to hide what apparently is the missing colony of Renoke. And that's what they're just approaching right now in Chapter 47 titled, Renoke at Last. But their happiness quickly faded when they stepped forward, because it was another mirage and the image changed. Now it was just a vast canyon with a very small rock, excuse me, with very small rock towers dispersed through the middle of it. Look, said General Sheldon. Each rock is split into, each rock in each row has a Roman numeral from 1 to 10 on it. Interesting, said Gray. Looks like it will need the right combination. Everyone looked to Gray. Gray shrugged. What? Jose Gonzalez stepped up. You're the descendant. Only you know the combination. Gray was silent for a while and said, Well, before I do anything, let's see what will happen if we step on the wrong rock. Gray then picked up a pebble and threw it onto one of the rock towers. Immediately, a massive explosion threw pieces of the former rock tower everywhere, knocking a few other towers down with it. Everyone gulped, but Gray didn't skip a beat. I know the combination. It's 021314. The date I found about the Renault colony. Sheldon sighed. Well, let's just hope you're right. Gonzales, you go first. Jose quietly stepped onto the first rock of the six he would have to step on. Nothing happened. He made it through the first three rock towers without any problem. He was just about to step on the next one when Gray cried out, Wait, I forgot that I didn't find out until after midnight, so it was actually the next day, the 14th. But Jose looked down and saw they had already had one foot on the wrong rock. Thanks, Gray. It was fun. With that, Jose Gonzalez put his other foot on the rock, and he and the rock around him erupted into another huge explosion. Jose, no! screamed Gray, but it was already too late. After a few seconds of silence, Sheldon said, This better be the right combination, Gray. Assassin, you go next. The assassin went and made it across with no problem. Sheldon and Gray followed. Gray is still silent since the explosion. Now, here again, they saw Renoke, but when they stepped forward, they knew, this time, it was real. Gray almost wanted to get out his phone and play national treasure music. After getting over their awe, the group began analyzing the situation. The city was lit up by countless candles, which must be lit 24-7, apparently. By the design of the houses, it was obvious that, even though they still had the 1600s design to them, that they were built like a fort, just like a criminal would want. Obviously, the original Renault criminals had taught their trade to their descendants, and their descendants to their descendants, and so on. Gray and party would have to be careful. When they stepped down some stairs, the first thing that they ran into was the, what they had heard about, the two sheds. A futuristic panel was in between the two. Before Sheldon could approach it, Gray said, All right, Phil, tell your goons to save Jason. I got you, Renoke, and a deal's a deal. Sheldon smiled wickedly. You think I care about your son now that I have what I want? He threw the radio that had the connection to Area 51 on the ground and smashed it underneath his boot. No! screamed Gray. He was just about to punch Sheldon when the panel started speaking. You are not an honest explorer, Phil Sheldon, a.k.a. Philip Swanson. Your punishment is that these people will be released among your people, and your people will see a war the likes of which no human has ever seen. You have three minutes to escape before they are released. Good luck. And that is it for chapter 47, guys. Just like that, exactly what the other Jason had predicted is about to come true. A huge horde of super criminals are going to be released upon the world. And can Gray do anything to stop it? Well, you have to find out in the next chapter, guys, which is coming tomorrow. All right, I'll see you then.